Hey everybody, it's Chugger Conroy, and it's time for an adventure long past to continue. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass starts tomorrow. This is a direct sequel to one of the fan favorite Zelda games, The Wind Waker. Though this is a continuation of that story, you do not need to experience Wind Waker first in order to enjoy this one. It will tell you everything that you need to know in the opening, but telling you up front so there's no surprises, this will be spoiling a few things about Wind Waker, though not everything. This is a game that's known for being pretty divisive these days. It's important to a lot of people's childhoods. I knew a lot of people who grew up with this as their first Zelda game because it was the debut on the DS. But the best way that I could describe it is a game that has very high highs, but also very low lows. I'd like to show you some of these very big high points that I feel just aren't talked about very much. And I feel with it being such a divisive game, it's something that can be talked about and discussed a lot, yet I just don't see it brought up a whole lot nowadays, and I was hoping to change that. Anyway, I hope to see you back here tomorrow for one of the more obscure entries in the Legend of Zelda series. See you guys then.